You are maybe the most interesting stock and company in America right now. And I say that because you have not much of an operating business now, but this huge potential. One analyst said that your outcome is binary, that you, you're a $10 stock, but you could go to 56 if things work out. How confident should investors be that you are going to get to phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four? Totally confident, of course. We're about a three-year-old company. Um, we are about two billion, two and a half billion dollars of market cap today, but we are building infrastructure projects that'll be about a thirty billion dollar investment. So we're growing the company uh, tremendously, and all we have to do is finish our permits and start construction, and that'll happen this year. Okay. Well, are you confident the government's going to be able to get the permitting process done? Yes. In fact, we're almost finished. We finished all of our environmental work. Uh, in January, so we're just uh, with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission uh, going to a vote. So the stuff you're building, driftwood, liquefied natural gas facility in Louisiana, the pipeline, those are all big, big, big projects that cost a lot of money. So most of your money right now is borrowed. You just got an investment from French oil giant Total. But should investors be worried about your cash burn rate? Not at all. So uh, all of our investments today have been equity investments from strategic partners. Uh, you mentioned Total, the French energy major, uh, came in very early, bought into a change in the business model for developing LNG projects. We're doing this on an integrated basis. So we'll produce gas, build pipelines, and build export terminals. Um, and then we'll go forward and uh, raise our money to actually fund the capital investment uh, this year, and we'll take partners for that. So the people who are going to buy the LNG are going to be partners with us in the project, and we've been finalizing our agreements with those potential so, okay, partners. Okay, because Total, yeah, they're going to give you $500 million, plus they're going to take about a million tons per annum for 15 years of liquefied natural gas. Are you confident you've got the other partners to raise that money. That really is yeah. the analyst. Every analyst says, if you can get it done, it's a bright future, but they, they want to make sure you can get it done. Right. Total will be uh, in total invested in Tellurian for about a billion dollars, and they will purchase two and a half million tons a year of LNG from us. And the uh, agreement that we finalized just last week with Total uh, for uh, one piece of it. So about half of that investment is in the LNG facility itself, mm -hmm. $500 million in exchange for 1 million tons of LNG. That is the same formula that the other partners will pursue. Uh, okay. We've also announced uh, agreement in principle with Petronet, which is the largest importer of LNG into India. Um, and we're continuing on with the rest of those partners. We'll have about half a dozen of them come in to okay. begin. So 11 analysts cover your stock. The average price target's 13 and change. Your stock's just under 10. BTIG's got a $20 price target. Stiefel says you could be a $56 stock if everything goes perfectly. What are investors missing right now? Uh, they're uh, each putting the analyst, they put a different amount of risk on the probability of us going forward. In our minds, of course, 100 yeah. percent, we're going forward. <laughs> yeah, but but investors out there, they're not, you know, the, anal the stock market's been hot. The analyst community's got a $13 target on you, but you're under 10. What do you think the investor, the person who buys your stock, isn't maybe getting about your story yet? They understand the story. They're waiting for those partners to get completed. So that's going to happen in the next couple months, and we'll start construction middle of this year. You got Chenier, your former company. Now you've got Tellurian, your current company. But there's about 20 other LNG facilities in some kind of process, being built, thought about, planning, whatever, been approved. At what point is there no longer a first mover advantage. Is there, is, there, is, there, is there something of too much of a good thing? Or, to, or Do we need 20 to 22 LNG terminals in the United States? Yeah, in fact, I always tell people, however much you expect can actually get built, because you're right, not every project that's going through permitting um, will be able to get built. It, we have to have the right kind of acreage, the right engineering, procurement, and construction plan, the right partners in the project. It, it's actually hard to get these projects to the finish line, mm -hmm. but we need everything that can happen because we're continuing to grow natural gas production in this country simply because we're drilling for oil. So as we produce more oil, gas comes out of the well at the same time, and we don't have enough market for it in the U.S. As you know, we are flaring 
about a BCF a day of natural gas every single day in this country. That's enough energy for 20 million homes. Literally burning it all, literally burning the gas because we don't have the infrastructure to move it. Last questions on China. China would like to have its own energy business, and they've been kind of poking around. Do you expect that Chinese LNG demand will be strong for 10, 20, 30 years? Absolutely. In fact, it's been growing at 30% a year. So China will become the largest importer of LNG in the world, about 100 million tons. Compared to today, Japan is the largest at about 70 or 80 million tons. And there are very, you know, these are very large and growing markets. India, I would say, mm -hmm. also will be over a 70 million ton market. And as you know, Brian, pollution in some of those urban areas in these Asian countries is extreme. So we are really bringing natural gas for clean air, clean air uh, for countries all over the world. Meg Gentle, President and CEO of Tellurian. Appreciate you coming on CNBC and Worldwide Exchange. Thank, Thank you, you for you having me. It's Have a, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.